My name is George Leonard. Back in 1977, cable TV in New York City was an exciting new alternative to television. It allowed each one of us to be whoever we were, whoever we wanted to be. I decided to be a spaceman. And now, the continuing adventures of Commander Video, Spaceman. Hooray, hooray, do the cha-cha-cha, ha-ha, ho-ho, Commander Video. Ha-ha, ho-ho, Commander Video. And now it's time for another hilarious episode of Life with Commander. Private Super 8, do I smell something burning? Oh no, Commander Video, I'm just cooking dinner. Oh. Isn't that your new recipe book, Private Super 8? Yeah, Commander Video. See what it says? Cookbook. Oh. Ah, someone must be at the door. Private Super 8, go see who that is. Okay, Commander Video. Hi. Hello. Officer Diddle here. Police Department. Come on in. Thank you. You must know Kojak. Is he really bald or is that a toupee? Oh, uh, both. Hello, Commander Video. Ah, good day, good officer. Sorry for the intrusion, but since you're also a police officer, maybe you could help us out with a small problem. Well, that's what I'm here for. Well, our jails are completely filled up. Right now, we have in our custody a maniac murderer. And we were wondering if you might be able to take him at your house for a couple days. Anybody who murders maniacs can't be all bad. Yes, and any fiend of yours is a fiend of mine. Well, fine. There's just a couple of regulations that we have to follow. The prisoner would need a decent-sized room, bed, bath, toilet, three meals a day, and a bubble bath. No wonder all those jails are all booked up. Well, Commander, what do you say? I think it can be arranged. Fine. I'll go out in the car and get his bags. I better go out, too, because I think I'm all out of bread and water. <laughs> like a fool dancing with your shin Amazon woman Amazon woman you could literally take me away 
Hi, Ma. Hi, swingers. Guess what? I ain't got no pants on. <laughs> Guess what? She ain't got no pants on. And you don't gotta have no pants on, neither. Hey, that's right. Just come on down here to Pluto's retreat. Whoa. Look at this. Fifty bucks. And that comes complete with free Bean fondue buffet. Hey, not a bad deal. So come on, get over here, down here to Pluto's retreat while the beans are still hot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And now, the continuing adventures of Commander Video, Spaceman. In a solar system exactly 90 billion kilometers south of Jersey, there suspended the planet of Megidia, inhabited by tiny beings. Although they were creepy little ones, they lived in peace and harmony with each other until one day, an inhabitant from the planet of Colossus invaded Megidia. A colossal man, 550 feet tall, wearing a size 1200 shoe, was wreaking havoc on the helpless souls of the planet of Megidia. Can anyone help? Is there anyone in the universe quick-footed enough to rid the planet of this big heel? Commander Video. What are midgets? Well, Private Super 8, midgets are people who have solved the problem of having to hang out with boring basketball players. It must be really hard being that small. Well, Private Super 8, look at it the other way. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah, but what if they fall on a midget? I never thought of it that way, Private Super 8. You know, that's really terrible about that colossal man terrorizing those little midgets. I mean, he's 550 feet tall. Yes, Private Super 8, but the planet of Colossus is made up of people who average 600 feet tall. So you see, Private Super 8, he's considered a midget himself on his own planet. We're dealing here with a psychologically disturbed midget monster with an inferiority complex. Commander Video, I'm confused. Private Super 8, you're progressing. A 
And on a folding chair not too far away, Dino De Luigi, the greatest movie producer in the universe, was preparing his movie. next epic film. Lights. Camera. Action. Okay, let's see some action now. Okay, really feel it. That's it. Okay, now your arm goes away and your eyes go down to the floor. Beautiful. Cut. Gee, I wish I had some actors to work with. I'm so good at this. 550 foot midget. I must find a way to get this midget on paper. Commander Video is on his way to see this midget right now. I must find a way to get aboard Commander's spacecraft and get this midget on paper. Oh, I can see it all now. This could be just the ticket to success I need. Dino D. Luigi presents Mighty Joe Runt. King Shrimp. No. Mighty Shrimp. Ah, someone must be at the space door. Who is it? It's Dino Di Luigi. Dino Di Luigi? Did you order out for pizza? Who is it? Dino Di Luigi, the greatest movie producer in the universe. Ah. Our doors are always open to lights, camera, and action. Push the door. Some pizza for the little lady. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dino. Ah, hi, Dee Dee, Luigi. My compliments on your latest production. Well, thank you, Commander Baby. Commander, I understand you're on your way to capture the 550-foot colossal midget. That's correct. I would love to film this midget for my latest movie. Oh, I'm sorry, Dee Dee, but this is too dangerous a mission to bring along an innocent bystander like you. Ah, but C.V., this is important. This isn't just a movie. But you could be, you could be killed. Ah, but this is bigger than that. It's bigger than people. I'm just a movie producer, but this is, I'm thinking of this for history. I'm thinking of this for the generations that follow us. Everybody that remembers Commander Video and the great works he's done. This, this could be really big. I could see it now, filming you defeating the Colossal Midget. It could be the greatest movie ever filmed. Think of it, this could really be big. Just you, up in lights. By the way, I have a standard form here, this contract. If you'll sign right at the bottom, it's just a standard contract. It's just the usual thing. I get 150% of everything you own, plus your spaceship. Thank you very much, Commander. Nothing to it, nothing to it. Whoa, what was that? It sounds pretty big. Look into the monitor. Wow. Look at the size of that colossal midget. Have you ever wanted to have a celebrity at your party? Well, I'm sure you have, but let's face it, you're not going to get Dustin Hoffman or Robert Redford or that hip musical group, The Beatles, to come for free beer and pizza. And a lot of you may know celebrities, but how many times has it happened to you? You invite them and they say, sure, sure, I'll come, I'll come, and they never even show up. Well, now you can rest assured because now there's Rent a Commander. That's right, the commander here, star of his own television show, is now booking private parties and various other functions throughout the city. That's right, I will make an appearance and sit at a table especially installed for the commander 
and I will autograph photo, autograph photo. I will sign pictures of myself, and upon request, I will even tell some jokes. Uh, depending on the crowd that I'm working for, like say I'm working for the college crowd, I have some great mind jokes like, I come from intellectual roots. My great-great-grandmother was a porpoise. That's right, all this and more can be yours if you give me a call at this number, 988-1263. So give me a call now and rent a commander. Oh. 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 I hear someone groaning. Oh. My, it sounds like someone is in pain. Oh. Oh. The sound is coming from this box here. Oh. Why, this is the box where the head lives. Oh. Who's there? Commander Video. Oh, come on in, Commander. Holy mackerel What happened to you? Oh, well, mackerel head? Stuck. Oh, I have a toothache. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Just a simple toothache head. Was it Santa Claus? Oh, my tooth <laughs> is killing me. Oh, well, you know, uh, why don't you just go to a dentist thing? Oh, no, not with all those drills and things they put in your mouth, not me. Ah, uh, well, I'll tell you what we used to do when we were kids. We used to just take a string, yeah. tie one end to the bad tooth, mm -hmm. and then tie the other end onto a doorknob, yeah. shut the door, and out would come the tooth, the pain, the whole thing. Sounds kind of easy. It's easy, it's very oh, simple. Oh, well, let's do it. My tooth is killing me. All right, let me get some string. Oh. Okay, this is it. Uh, Oh. I just tie this end onto your tooth. Then I'm going to take this string here yeah. and tie it to the uh, doorknob. Doorknob. Okay. All right. All right. You you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, here goes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Thanks. Uh. uh listen, I'm a spaceman, not a dentist. No sense in that. Where did he go? All you boys and girls out there now have a chance of winning a replica of Commander Video's very own spaceship. Now I want you all to run out and get those pencils and jot down this address here. Commander Video, Post Office Box 201, Lenox Hill Station, New York, New York, 10021. All you have to do is name the spaceship. It's as simple as that, that's right. Throw down on a postcard the very first name that comes to mind or ponder over it for a couple of weeks or whatever. You've got four weeks to get those names and we're gonna, then we're gonna choose the name of uh, Commander Video Spaceship. And you may be the lucky owner of the Commander Video Replica Spaceship. Send those letters with the names in now. Uh, uh, come in. Hi, Commander Video. Oh, hello. My Priscilla personality. Uh, uh, is this, uh, is this going to cost me money? Yeah. Well, let's put it this way, Commander. Your personality is your payroll. You know, it's the old formula, P equals P. Yeah, yeah, well... And, well, I've been watching your shows lately, and I find your personality dull, very oh. dull. Well, why do people tag me with being dull? I guess it's just the way you come across, but that's what I'm here to change. But h how, how can you possibly do that? Well, I have my little understand. Priscilla personality kit. We just attach these wires. Now, don't be afraid, it's... Painless. Uh, okay. Attach yeah. these little wires. It's not, it's not gonna hurt. Not gonna it. hurt. Uh-huh. Okay. It's and we're gonna make you into... You've always wanted to be funny. Funny, yeah. A comic. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, take my planet, uh, please. Uh, uh, no, 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 no
No. That'll never do, Commander. Uh, what, ha what happened? Uh, you see, to tell you the truth, uh, I find you D&D. &D, D and d Dumb and dull. But we're going to fix that. We're going to make you into an intellectual. Oh, the uh, hypotenuse uh, squared, literally speaking, that is, often mm. manifests itself no. uh, with an incongruous... No, in no, 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 that won't uh, work, uh, Amanda. No, that, it, that's it, not right for you either. No, no. How would you like to be a sex symbol? Yeah. Okay, we're going to try that. We're going to turn you hey, into uh, a... This might be, uh, good. Casanova. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. You live around here? Oh, uh, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what's your sign? Uh, uh, I think uh, it's hey. stop. My sign is stop. Uh, uh, um, uh, hey, uh, that's a nice knee. Oh, uh, oh boy. Oh, this is, he's pouring oh. all over me. I don't hey, uh, know, Commander. Uh, oh. <clears throat> no, uh, I don't think that's right for you either. Commander, I, uh, I think we've got what? a problem. problem. I think the only thing we can do is kind of give you pot luck. <laughs> we'll try that. And now in response to an editorial by this station, I'd like to say that I oppose uh, the viewpoint to a certain degree. Not going to work. And uh, I uh, also feel that the management of this station is definitely a uh, uh, pers personality lady. Hey, Personality lady, where's where's my old pers pers personality lady? Hey, come back here, pers personality lady. Where where's the, where's my? Hey, <laughs> Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket, save it for a rainy day. Whoa. Moon. Stone space. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 of Commander Video, Spaceman. The last time we saw the Commander, his spacecraft was in the hands of the colossal midget. Not easy being a spaceman. Wow. That's the biggest midget I've ever seen. Biggest midget I've ever seen. I gotta take action. Private Super 8, control room, Private Super 8. Yeah, Commander Video? Private Super 8, prepare lasers for full power. But Commander Video, I haven't finished my pizza yet. Well, as soon as you finish, Private Super 8. Okay, Commander Video. Wait, Commander. 
Before you use violence, let me talk to him. No, he's beyond reason. He's beyond reason. I won't let you out there. All right. I was afraid you were going to say that. But this movie's just too important for me. Don't make a move, or you're a dead cable TV star. Don't try to stop me. I'm going out there. No. Nope. Stay back. Oh, Mr. Colossal Midget, I'd like to speak to you. I was watching you before. You have great personality, great stage presence. You have a face that no one forgets. I'd like to get you on paper. I'd like to make you a big stop. Stay back. Stay. What are you doing? No, put me down. No. How horrible. Well, that's one way of getting out of a contract. Control room, private super eight. Prepare to fire lasers. Okay, Commander Video. Ten, nine, eight, three, two, one. <laughs> ah, it's helpless. Only one thing left to do. Private Super 8. Yeah, Commando. Prepare to release chemical toilet tank. Okay, Commando Video. Now. Private Super 8? Yeah, Commander Video. Prepare to orbit alien. Everything's under control. I'll call the Magidian Ground Control and tell him everything's all right. Hello, is this Magidian Ground Control? The giant midget has been taken care of, and everything is all right. Yes, Commander Video, but what are we supposed to do with 550 feet of colossal midget? I mean, let's get this crap out of here, huh? 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 It's moments like this that make me wonder whether I'm in the right business. out of space. Commander Video! Who can take a young mind, put it to waste? Commander Video! Hooray, hooray, do the cha-cha-cha, ha-ha, ho-ho, Commander Video!